Hey guys, I'm Dakota from MajorFOMO.com. I'm originally from Sacramento. I guide here in Alaska during the summer, and during the off seasons I travel and kind of figure out where I want to end up along the way. And I'm here to show you my 82 turbo diesel Westphalia setup that I have started living out of recently. Found an awesome deal on it and decided to fly one way and drive it back across the country. Uh, then moved out, uh, packed my stuff in here and drove from Sacramento to Seward. So I put about 8,000 miles on it in the first month that I've owned it. <laughs> it's been rad, this place has been like Neverland. <laughs> so I work up here seasonally, I work up here in the summer. This is my third summer in Seward. Um, in the past, I've spent some time traveling in between and then gone back to Sacramento, but this is the first year I decided I wanted to kind of go with whatever inspired me, and that's why I bought the van. And uh, also, it's a lot easier to take Logan the dog here with me. So, uh, we have here, and funny enough, apparently, everything I have here is color-coded, including my dog. <laughs> I have my mountain bike here that I kind of get around town with while my van's set up. That's kind of like my uh, around town transportation. All right, so yeah, around back you can see I have my car top box. Uh, that's really convenient for when I'm traveling around. I tend to take a lot of gear now that I'm living in this. Um, so I can throw a lot of stuff up there when I'm traveling. And then when I'm parked here, I kind of leave uh, just a few things in there that I'm not really gonna use throughout the summer. So it's just kind of like having a little mobile storage unit. While the van is in house mode, so I have the top blasted up, and that gives me a lot of room inside, and we'll see that later. Uh, got a spot for Logan to hang out and sunbathe here. And uh, also have my outer room. Now this was probably the best purchase I've made since I've got the van. It quadrupled my square footage, gave me a lot of space to store the things I don't really need every day so that the inside of the van is really comfortable for living. So the tent I picked up from Bus Depot, it's made for the Westphalia. Uh, sets up perfectly and gives you a lot of extra room. It's got really strong, stable aluminum poles and it's just staked down in there and it's, I mean, it's held up to uh, winds that are about twice as strong as what we're dealing with now, no problem. Yeah, and so let's go over here and we can check out the outer room. All right, so heading into the outer room. This thing is fantastic. Uh, it's giving me a lot more space. You can see I have room to store my firewood, uh, a bunch of gear that I don't necessarily use every day, got my storage tote, uh, extra water, Keep a lot of coffee, extra food, just kind of whatever that I don't necessarily want in my living space every day. So a few other things that I really like about this outer room. One, uh, as you can see, I have no problem standing up uh, really anywhere in this outer room. I'm 6'2", so that's pretty key. A lot of times when you're camping, you're doing that hunched over thing when you're trying to get dressed. Uh, not super fun if you're doing that. So the window on the outside has a canvas piece that we can roll down if I just want some shade. And if it's raining, this actually has a clear rubber uh, section that I can roll down and keep dry, but still let sunlight in if that's what you want. So you can really customize your feel in your outer room. All three of these walls, so this wall here, the front wall, and the wall on the other side can all be lifted up and there's extra poles so you can be a giant shade structure instead of a room, uh, which is pretty cool if you just have a nice day and you want a lot of people over and you're hanging out. This door leads to the side of the van uh, and what's really nice is there's a section in between the tent and the van uh, that you can store things. So I store the extra pieces of the outer room I'm not using and actually the pup food fits perfectly in here. So Logan's food is in there and then uh, it's covered as well so you have a covered entry from your tent to your van and yeah we can pop in here and check the van out. All right, welcome to the master bedroom of the Gypsy Mansion. Uh, this is really where all the cool stuff is. So over here we have the stove. There's actually a three gallon propane tank attached to the outside that feeds in. Uh, so two burner stove, you can do a lot of cooking in here. Um, on my cast iron skillet, it's kind of my go-to. Uh, we have a sink here. Under here is a 15 gallon fresh water tank. So we have running water. Uh, in here I have a refrigerator and right now it's also running off the propane, so it's nice. I can be completely unplugged and still have a refrigerator. Uh, not much going on in there now. 
Um, the storage is, is really nice. Uh, I can just keep utensils and things in here. I can keep a lot of food. Um, yeah, a lot of coffee going on down there. Damn it, Luke. Hold on a second. <laughs> hey! Uh-uh, leave it. Dog. See, Logan knows where the comfy spot is. This is sweet. There's actually a wardrobe in here. So if you want to keep some nice clothes, not wrinkled, uh, I got that in there. There's a mirror if you need to do your hair or whatever you need to do uh, in case you got a hot date. And uh, yeah, tons of storage up here, my hats, my socks and underwear, things like that. So it's really nice. Um, can really get things dialed in. All right, so up top here, uh, I actually use a storage, so a lot of my clothes are going up here. Um, some food on one side, um, which is really nice. You can just have kind of your closet up here if you need to. But also this pops out into a second bed. So if you wanted to use it as that, some people like to sleep up top and leave this down here for a living space. Um, I choose to use it for storage, but pretty quickly this can pop out and you have another bed up top. Pretty nice. Around the top, uh, this is kind of your mechanism for lowering and lifting the top. Um, it can be tough, which is one of the reasons why I empty everything out of that storage box if I am going to be lifting it. So you have a bug net here, so if you uh, want some fresh air and want to keep the bugs out, you can just zip this closed and you have your little insect screen. Um, and again, if it's raining, you have another canvas piece you can zip closed. Really waterproof and being in a very rainy place. We're in a temperate rainforest here in Seward, Alaska and this is held up uh, very well. And last but not least, we have the front of the van, uh, which again, very well thought out. Uh, captain's chairs, they're really fun. Um, the front seats swivel around, the driver's seat does as well. Um, just kind of have a better hangout spot, a really good space if you're hanging out with someone uh, in your van home. A uh, beer box with a plastic bag in it is a really great trash can, so you don't have to get too fancy with it. The van also comes with curtains everywhere, so also being somewhere where you have 22 and a half hours of daylight during the summer, it's pretty nice to be able to um, block that sun and get some sleep. So one other thing I like that's kind of a, uh, not so much a technical feature, it's just a fun feature. Uh, a switch has been put in here so that I can turn my radio on without the keys being in the ignition, which is key because if you're hanging out, you're parked somewhere and you want to have a beer, uh, if your keys are in the ignition, they can actually get you in a lot of trouble even if you are set up for camping and not planning on going anywhere. So being able to have your tunes on and your keys somewhere away will prevent you from potentially getting a uh, DUI or getting in trouble for drinking in your vehicle. So this is my place. Um, so yeah, I would love to share my adventures with you guys. You can check me out in its majorfomo.com. And from there, you can find links to my Instagram, to my Facebook, to my Twitter. So yeah, I'd love to share it with you and come check it out.